grade, module one, lesson 17, classwork. Given a rate, you can calculate the unit rate and associated ratios. Recognize that all ratios associated with a given rate are equivalent because they have the same value. Example one, write each ratio as a rate. The ratio of miles to the number of hours is 434 to seven. So we wanna know what that rate is. And so the ratio would be 434 to seven. We can figure out the rate by dividing. So seven goes into four zero times. It goes into 43 six times. Six times seven is 42. Subtract and get one, bring down the four. Seven goes into 14 two times. No remainder, nothing to bring down. So the miles to number of hours is 62 miles per hour. That is the rate. B, the ratio of the number of laps to the number of minutes is five to four. So if the ratio is five to four, then we can figure out the rate by dividing. Five goes into four, one time. Subtract, we get one. Rema one with a remainder of one, we can just make it one and one fourth, which you also could have seen because it's five fourths be equal to one and one fourth. So you can either say it's five fourths laps a minute or one and one fourth laps per minute. Example two, complete the model below using the ratios from example one, part B. So example one, part B was five to four. And that was the ratio. The unit rate would be five fourths, and then the rate was five fourths laps per minute. Complete the model below now using the rate listed below. So this time they've given us the rate over here at six feet per second. So we need to figure out the rate. So the rate would just be six because we, it goes six feet per second, so the rate unit rate is six. And the ratio, there's many different ratios you could choose, but if we want to just stick with six, we could have six to one, because that would still be a unit rate of six. Or we could double it, you could have 12 to two, you could have 60 to 10. There's an infinite number of choices that you could choose for the ratio. Examples three through six. Dave can clean pools at a constant rate of three-fifths pools per hour. What is the ratio of the number of pools to the number of hours? So pools per hour would be three to five is the ratio. How many pools can Dave clean in 10 hours? So we can either make a diagram for this. You could do a double line diagram. I think I'll do a tape diagram. So we have pools and hours, and it's three to five. So I'm gonna do three to five. And we do know that it's 10 hours. So this portion right here is 10 hours. So if we split that evenly into the five pieces, it'd be two hours in each part. So this those would each be two pieces. So this is equal to two, four, six pools in 10 hours. How long does it take Dave to clean 15 pools? So let's do another tape diagram. Pools, hours, so three to five. And this time we have 15 pools. So this piece is equal to 15 pools. If we split that evenly into the three parts, 
each one would be 5, and then all of these would be 5, which would add up to 25 hours to clean 15 pools. Number four, Emmeline can type at a constant rate of one fourth pages per minute. A, what is the ratio of the number of pages to the number of minutes? So pages to minutes would be one to four. Emmeline has a five page article, but only has 18 minutes until she reaches the deadline. Does Emmeline have enough time to type the article? Why or why not? So there's multiple ways to solve this. You could do the tape diagram like we did before, but this time, I'll use a different example. Let's do the double line diagram because it only goes up to eight, 5 and 18. So I'm going to have two lines. So we have 1 and 4. So the 1 represents the pages and 4 represents the minutes. 1 to 4, and I'm just going to count by 1s, and then here I'm going to count by 4s. But we wanted to know if she has a 5-page article, so here's the 5-page article right there. It takes her 20 minutes. She only has 18 minutes, so does she have enough time? Well, we would say no, she doesn't have enough time. because she would need 20 minutes. Okay, C, Emmeline has to type a seven page article. How much time will it take her? So since we've already, let's just look up here. We've already made it to six, so let's just add one on seven. And then if we add that, that would be 28 minutes. So it would take her 28 minutes for to type seven a seven page article. Number five, Xavier can swim at a constant speed of five thirds meters per second. What is the ratio of the number of meters to the number of seconds? So meters to seconds would be five to three. Xavier is trying to qualify for the national swim meet. To qualify, he must complete a 100 meter race in 55 seconds. Will Xavier be able to qualify? Why or why not? Right, so this time I'll just do a chart. So we've covered everything. So we have five to three, and that was meters per second. So five meters per three seconds, but he needs he must complete a 100 meter race in 55 seconds. So I'm gonna put in 100 meters and see how long that would take him to complete and if he can do it in 55 seconds or faster. So to get from five to 100, we need to multiply by 20. So we need to do the same thing to get an equivalent ratio. That would make this 60. So it's gonna take him 60 seconds to go 100 meters but he needs to do it in 55 seconds, so he's not going to qualify. So no, he will not qualify. It takes him 60 seconds. C, Xavier is also attempting to qualify for the same meet in the 200 meter event. To qualify, he would have to complete the race in 130 seconds. Will Xavier be able to qualify for this race? Why or why not? So let's do the same chart here. So we have meters per second, and the ratio is still 5 to 3. This time, we want to know if it's 200 meters, what would, how long would it take him? So 5 to get to 200, this time we multiply by 40. So 3 times 40 would get us 120 seconds. So there, he has to complete it in 130 seconds. So this time he would qualify. 
Yes, he will qualify. Because he completes the race. Or you can just say he finishes in 120 seconds. Number six. The corner store sells apples at a rate of $1.25 per apple. What is the ratio to the amount of dollars to the number of apples? We're looking for, remember, order is important. So number of dollars to apples. So it's $1.25 per apple. So we're going to do $1.25 for one apple. B. Ikea is only able to spend $10 on apples. How many apples can she buy? So this, I'm going to do a double line diagram. Because we're only going up to $10. And we can count by quarters. So I'll do apples, money. Actually, it should be switched. because we did apples first, or money first. So this is money, this is apples. Okay, so we have $1.25, and I'm just gonna count by $1.25. So plus another $1.25 would be $2.50. And remember, we're trying to get to $10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six apples. We'll see if we need to go further. $2.50, 375 plus another, $1.25 would be $5, then $6.25, and $7.50. Gotta keep going. $8.75, and then we get to $10. So that would be eight apples. Would cost $10. Christian has $6 in his wallet and wants to spend it on apples. How many apples can Christian buy? So he has $6. Let's just look up to our chart here and find $6. So $6 is about right there, which means he doesn't have enough to buy five apples. So he could only buy four apples. So he can buy four apples for $5.